Hello, Math 6, Mrs. Spence here. This week, our video is on integers again, but now we are beginning to calculate with our integers by learning the rules that we use when we multiply and divide with positive and negative numbers. So let's get right to it. This week, the rules for multiplying and dividing integers with a few different visual examples. And if you look at our little smiley faces here, with, this is one of the ways that we learned our different rules. Now, the rules are if you have the same sign, like positive and positive, your answer is going to be positive. And with the smiley faces, they're representing a positive, happy person with a smiley face. So positive factor, positive factor, you're going to have a positive answer. All right, same thing if you have the same sign, but they're both negative. So if we have negative and negative, negative times negative or negative divided by negative, you're still going to have a positive answer when you come out. So same signs, it's going to be positive. Okay. And then we have the situation where we have one positive and one negative, and he is no longer happy. Okay, so we're going to have a negative answer. So one positive factor and one negative factor, when you multiply it or divide, will give you a negative answer. So this is just one of the visuals. Another visual that you might remember is the tic-tac-toe board, okay? So the tic-tac-toe board, some of you might find that confusing and that's okay. That just means don't use that one to help you remember, but some of you go, oh, I see that. All right, so if you look right here at the tic-tac-toe board, I'm gonna highlight this. You see right down here, we have the winner of this tic-tac-toe game as the positives, okay, because we have the three in the row here. All right, so when you're setting this board up, if you were to do positive, 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 that is saying that a positive times a positive or a positive divided by a positive will give you a positive answer. And then what you would do is you would just fill in the negatives everywhere else where there is a blank, okay? And then when you look at this, you can also see going horizontally the different rules. Okay, so this rule is saying that when you multiply or divide a positive by a negative, your answer is going to be negative. So I'm going to put the equal sign up here to remind us that this whole column is for our answers. Okay. All right. And then we have this situation here where if we have a negative times or divided by a positive, your answer is going to equal a negative answer. Or if you have a negative times or divided by another negative, your answer will turn out positive. And then don't forget that we also have this rule here as one of them. So we have four total um, situations where we have our rules equaling either negative, negative, or positive, okay? All right, so again, if that tic-tac-toe board is not for you, no worries. You can try to remember with the smiley faces or if you're a good memorizer, you may just say, hey, I'm just going to memorize the rules. Okay, and here are the rules down here. So again, we have the factors. The first factor. So remember the definition for factor. If you're looking at this, this is a factor and this is a factor. And when you multiply two factors together, you get your product. Okay. So that's what we're looking at here. So if we have the first one being positive and the second one being positive, your answer is going to be positive. If you have one being negative and one being positive, your answer will be negative. And if you have one being negative and one being negative, your answer will be positive. Okay, so these are the rules. Basically, if you have the same sign, your answer will turn out positive. But if you have different signs, your answer will turn out negative. And remember, that could also mean that you do your plus times your negative. It will still give you negative. It doesn't matter the order. 
All right, so those are the rules. Same sign, your answer will be positive. Different signs, your answer is going to be negative. All right, and I wanted to show you one of the best examples I have ever seen as a teacher. Um, some of you students on Friday might be creating a poster for the class to demonstrate to the class. Um, the rules for multiplying and dividing integers. So for us visual people, it's nice to see different examples to help our brains kind of connect these rules to what we're learning. All right, so this poster was made by Lydia in the sixth grade when she was in the sixth grade. And she said, okay, I'm gonna show all negatives with the lion and she made her lion a little bit sad and said okay all negatives are going to be a lion all positives are going to be a happy little lamb here well when you're multiplying and dividing integers and you have two negatives like two little lions okay if you have two negatives that are playing together it's going to be a happy situation Okay, they're going to be getting along. They're going to love playing with each other. Okay, two negatives, happy situation. The relationship is positive. Just like if we have two happy little positives here, positive lamb and positive lamb, the pos two positives, the relationship is also positive, just like two lambs playing together and having fun. Okay, the situation turns negative or we have a negative result. If you have one positive playing with a negative, it doesn't look like they're playing. It looks like this one's ready to attack. <laughs> and the same situation, if you have a negative times a positive or a negative divided by a positive, it is going to end up in a negative situation. The answer or the result will be negative, okay? So I love this visual because it definitely shows that two positives, playing together, positive times a positive will equal in a nice, happy, positive result, okay? Um, unlike if we have a negative, remember they represented the lion with negative, times are divided by a negative, it's still going to give you a positive situation. These two are happy, they are not fighting. But when you have a negative and a positive together, it's going to be a negative situation. Whether it's negative times positive or positive times negative, your result will end in a negative answer. Okay, so I hope that that example helped you as much as it did me. I love that example. I think that that person did a wonderful job. <clears throat> and. For me, that was the best visual that I had seen to help myself. All right, but whichever way works is great for you. Um, stick with that, okay? Now let's look at some examples here. Okay, so we have multiplication on the left and we have division on the right. And we are going to put our answers in here. This is traditional, what we're used to. And I use simple numbers on purpose so that we're not worried about our multiplication. We're just thinking about our signs, okay? So for this, we have a positive times a positive. Same sign. So we should end up in a positive answer. Now remember, I'm just writing this little positive in just to help us see the rules. But when you're writing positives, you don't write the positive in front of that. Okay, so two times three is six. And positive times positive is positive. So our answer is positive six. All right, let's take a look at this. And this is a tip that I recommend. I recommend you either, and I usually say let's start with the signs because sometimes we can forget our signs when we're writing our answer down. So let's start with the signs. So we have a negative times a positive. Look in front, there's a positive three, okay? Negative times a positive, we have a lion with a lamb, or we have opposite signs here. So our answer should end in a negative result, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put our negative in for our answer, and now we do our math, two times three is six. So our answer is negative six. 
All right, and then the last one we have negative two times negative three. So again, let's start with our signs so we don't forget them. Negative times a negative, we have same signs. So our answer, you may be tempted to say negative, but that would not be right. When we have the same signs, like two lions playing together, we have a happy positive ending. So it would be a positive answer, okay? And this one's gonna be tricky. It's not so tricky up here because we're used to that. Positive times positive is positive. And down here, you're like, yeah, those are opposite signs. That's gonna be weird, it's gonna be negative. But down here, don't be tempted to say negative times a negative is a negative because they're all the same, let's keep them the same. That's not it. Remember back to our example when we were actually demonstrating with our integer chips and we were saying the opposite of these negatives. So we had negative groupings and then we flipped them all. So it should end up back positive. Okay. So again, remember if they're the same sign, the answer will always be positive. All right. So it's going to be a positive answer here. Positive two times three six. So our answer is six for this. Okay, let's take a look at our division. Let's start with our signs. We have positive divided by a positive. Same sign. So we're going to have a positive answer. Okay, so 15 divided by three. We know that 15 divided by three is five. So our answer is positive five. Again, that little positive is not necessary. I just wanted to demonstrate, I guess I could put it here. Okay, we have negative divided by a positive. So with negative divided by positive, we have opposite. Ooh, opposite signs. So that is not going to turn out very well, especially for the little lamb. Okay, so this is going to end in a negative situation. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So we have negative 5. Then last one here, we have same signs again. Negative divided by a negative. We know that's going to be, ooh, don't write negative. It's the same sign. So we have a nice, happy, positive, happy ending. We have two not little lions playing together. And so we're going to have a positive answer, positive 5. All right. Well, I hope that this demonstration has helped you remember the rules. We will be using these rules for the rest of your math career. So make sure that you really submit these into your head. You cannot brain dump these. So make sure that you're really remembering the same signs and in a positive answer and opposite signs and in a negative answer. All right, we'll see you next time.